all right what is going on the beautiful people of youtube welcome back majestic here today bringing you guys some pretty big fucking news um and i'm really excited to talk about this today because we haven't heard any news about this game in a while i think probably since august maybe um maybe a little before that and that of course is injustice 2 now we know netherrealm studios is working on it they did release a couple of trailers we got to see grod we got to see supergirl um, Atrocitus, um, we also got Harley Quinn and Deadshot that were recently, recently announced, um, and, you know, of course, Blue Beetle and Wonder Woman, so we had a couple of trailers that were coming out, uh, each month, but then eventually they just all of a sudden stopped, which was a little weird, and a lot of people were asking if this game was cancelled, I was even wondering myself, like, what the hell's going on with Injustice 2, we haven't even got a release date for it yet. Um, and we all know NetherRealm games come out usually around April, and Justice came out, I think, around April of 20... was it 2013? So... or 2012, one of the two. So it's it's always usually around that time that games release, because that followed up right after MK9, two years after that. So, definitely, and maybe I might be a little wrong with my time frames, guys, and I do apologize, but it's definitely around that time is when they're released. But unfortunately, we don't have an official release date for um injustice too and a lot of people were you know going crazy like you know what's up with this game i was even myself like you know what the hell's going on are we actually getting this game or not so um ed boone actually been sending out a bunch of tweets because people were blowing up ed boone lately um and they were sending out thousands of tweets like hey is injustice 2 canceled hey is it still in production you know hey are you guys working on another game are we working on mortal kombat uh season three you know what what the hell's going on with netherrealm studios um, and Ed Boon actually came out and answered a lot of people's tweets and he also released some awesome information that I want to go over with you guys today. So the first two tweets that you see here is the ones that I wanted to show you people. It's really cool. He was basically saying, um, talking about will Injustice 2 be region locked, which I think is a great question. Um, and of course Ed Boon said, I personally hope we can allow cross content or cross-continent gameplay for Injustice 2, which means he wants to go global, which is really cool. So it won't be locked to like North America or UK or anything like that. So hopefully we get to play around people, play with people around the world. But the bad thing about that is NetherRealm is not good for having great net codes, even though Mortal Kombat X did get a phenomenal net code update recently, a couple months ago. But when they usually come out, the net code is pretty ass. And that's usually with Injustice, MK9, the net codes suck. With Nether Round games, I love them to death. They're my favorite fighting style of gameplay, or favorite fighting game genre. But their net code sucks. Sorry guys. Even though Mortal Kombat X is fine now, launch it was fucking horrendous. So hopefully, Injustice 2 will have a great net code when it releases. Um, another question he said here. He said any chance, or this is from Darren Britt. Um, he said any chance of um, Injustice 2 demo or beta? He's like, there is a chance, yes. Um, as you guys know, when Injustice 1 was released, we actually did get a full-on playable demo. It was like Batman, Supergirl, uh, or not Bat, sorry, Batman, Wonder Woman, and then I think it was like Green Lantern and another character um, that we actually got to play with uh, before the game came out. We actually got to play the demo, kind of figure out how it was and how the mechanics worked and things like that. So the chances of us getting a Injustice 2 demo is extremely high considering that they had one at E3 as well, which is really cool. So hopefully we get the E3 demo and maybe get our hands on like Supergirl and things like that. Um, or at least maybe they'll do one like Street Fighter V did where they release a beta each and every like couple months with each new character and you get to test out every single character before the game releases. I think that would be fucking cool if they did something like that. Like, you know, have us with the original four and then add Supergirl and Grodd um, and then add uh, Wonder Woman, Blue Beetle and then add Harley Quinn and Deadshot and of course if we get any more characters that are released down the road I think that would be phenomenal and I think a lot of NetherRealm fans would be completely fucking happy with that I think we would be okay with that happening um, and now here's the big tweets and this is the one this is the uh, the I guess you can say the butter um, and what you guys came here for so Ed Boone did a poll recently um, he did a poll and he said, um, best MK guest character for Injustice 2. Now, as you guys know, Mortal Kombat, of course, had guest characters. We had Predator and Alien, which are also the highest selling DLCs for, I think, Mortal Kombat history. Like, between MK9 and MKX, it, MKX had the most downloaded DLC. Um, and 
basically was asking, you know, what uh, character would you guys like to see in Injustice 2? And we also know that Scorpion was the highest selling DLC for Injustice 2, our highest selling DLC character. So it was between uh, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Johnny Cage, and Jax. And of course, Sub-Zero took it with a solid 52%. Um, almost 20,000 people wanted Sub-Zero as a playable guest character, which I'm okay with that. You know, if you have Scorpion, I think you should have the other poster boy, which is, of course, Sub-Zero. Um, and I think he would be really cool. He was supposed to be announced in Justice 1, and we never got to see him. So I think that is really cool that they will put him as a guest character. Maybe we'll get both. Maybe we'll get Scorpion and we'll get Sub-Zero. Who knows? Um, it's out in the air, but 52% 52, 52 want it. The people want it. Hopefully, Ed Boon goes through with that. Now, here's the really cool one. Um... He said, best non-MK guest, ah, I can't talk, best non-MK guest character for Injustice 2. And it was between Buffy, the I guess the Vampire Slayer, Terminator, Hellboy, and Spawn. And of course, 30,000 people wanted Spawn. 45% people want Spawn. Now, here's the thing with that. I would love to see Spawn in another fighting game. Um, I really wanted him in MKX. I really thought we were going to get him in MKX. Um, but the thing is with that, I, I kind of understand why they're going to add him to Injustice because I think Spawn comics are actually published by DC and DC is not going to let that happen. We all saw how, uh, this game called Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe went, but, um, that might be why he was not allowed in MKX because of DC has copies or the rights to spawn I'm pretty sure so that kind of sucks, but seeing him in injustice would be phenomenal um, Soul Calibur to spawn was okay. I don't think he was a phenomenal guest character I didn't think he was like fucking great. I think they could have done so much more with spawn in um, in uh, Soul Calibur 2 but seeing him in injustice and the new age fighting game and just how Injustice looks, I feel like NetherRealm Studios and Ed Boon can really put this character to work and really do some cool shit with him. Um, so Spawn, I am 100% on board for. Um, but that's basically all that's going on. So this is all the news that I have for Injustice 2. I wish there was more, but we did get some some good things. We also, we still don't have a release date. Nothing about that yet. There's no tweet about it or anything. But there is a chance of Spawn being a potential guest character. And of course, Sub-Zero being a guest character. Um, so please leave in the comment section. What, what would you guys think? Do you guys want to see Spawn? Do you think Spawn would be an awesome character? Is there another guest character that maybe you guys want to see? Or a Mortal Kombat character? Do you think Sub-Zero is a good pick? Was there another character maybe you wanted to see? Such as? I mean, we have Sonya Blade, you know, we have Shinnok, you know, we have Goro, we have a bunch of characters. Um, so please leave in the comment section what you guys want to see in Injustice 2. Um, my name is Majestic, and I'll see you guys for another video, hopefully very, very soon.